imagines one day the burger you are eating might be cooked by a robot named Flippy. This restaurant robot was created by Miso Robotics and in March became a fixture at Cali Burgers Pasadena location. Professor Aaron Ames is a robotic advisor who worked on the world's first autonomous robotic kitchen assistant. But don't think about it that as taking away somebody's job. Think about it as the guy who was flipping the burgers can now work with the robot and cook twice as many burgers in half the time. So I, I think, think about robots as augmenting our, our abilities right now rather than displacing them. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there are about 2.4 million cooks working in the U.S. Are burger cooks worried about losing their jobs to robots? I asked some at a Cali Burger restaurant. Are you worried about your job will be taken away by the robot? Not necessarily my job, but I'm a little worried that, yeah, five, ten years in the future, yeah. Burger cooks like me aren't going to be around anymore. I mean, I'll be making movies and famous by them, but still, I mean, be young guys like me who still need a job in the meantime, and I'm a little bit, yeah. Just like with grocery stores and the self-checkouts, I feel like one day, that's all it's going to be. Cook Jarrell Collins says he can make 500 burgers on a busy day, but Flippy can cook up to 300 burger patties every hour. Still, Collins doesn't think the robot is good enough to replace human cooks. I mean, it's called Flippy because that's all it does, it basically just flips the burgers. The human interaction, I just feel like that's not going to go away because people like you tell me that the burgers are really good and a robot can't, robot, robot can't do that, just can't. One mile away from Cali Burger, Professor Ames is also working on a bipedal robot called Cassie at the California Institute of Technology. Cassie and Flippy use the same algorithm and something called dynamic balancing maneuver. That's a mechanism which keeps the device steady. Look at the movie iRobot and the book that it was based upon. Like robots jumping up on walls and doing backflips and doing all this fun stuff. Like that's what we think of when you think of intelligent minds and really capable bodies. But in reality, robots are not able to walk by themselves, let alone jump and do backflips. Walking is, is a seemingly very simple thing to do because we always do it, right? Um, but it's surprisingly complex, which is why I love it. I mean, if you think about it, when people can't walk, it tells you how hard walking is, right? Um, when people are bound in a wheelchair and how restrictive that is when they can't walk. AIM's biggest challenge is adding artificial intelligence into a robot system. You know, you have Boston Dynamics, right? With no machine learning on their robots, right? It's all dynamics and mathematics based. Well, you have AlphaGo, which beat the world champion in AlphaGo. That's all machine learning. There's no physical system attached to it. So you have sort of the mind in AI and the body in the physical incarnation. So far, those two things have not really connected, surprisingly. I mean, if we, when we make robots walk, we don't use any machine learning yet. AIM's long-term goal is to get Cassie fully autonomous and let it hike the Pacific Crest Trail from Mexico to Canada. But in the near term, he created this robot to help people walk better. His lab builds prosthetic devices and extra skeletons and tests them on amputees. Inevitably, as we push towards more automation and, for, and towards autonomy, there will be jobs that are moved because of robots. That's the truth, right? It will push towards a more knowledge-based workforce as opposed to a task-based workforce, right? Meaning people that just perform repetitive tasks. According to McKinsey Global Institute, food service and accommodations have the highest potential for automation in the U.S. because cooking and serving food involve many predictable physical activities, which are more likely to be automated. But experts say even people who perform repetitive tasks won't be replaced by robots anytime soon. I'm not saying AI isn't going to become more powerful and do very good at specific tasks but it's fundamentally taking data and optimizing something around the data, right? And that is not intelligence in the way that we think about intelligence. So I, I think that it, AI as an intelligent entity that will take over the world and kill us, this is, this is not on the horizon. It might be on the horizon. Maybe in 10 years, my tune has changed. But right now, given the current state of technology, there's no concern that robots or AI are gonna take over the world. The fast food robot Flippy was temporarily turned off after a single day of working as a cook at Cali Burger in Pasadena. 
The restaurant and Miso Robotics didn't respond to requests for an explanation, but in their latest corporate global expansion plan, Caliburger says versions of Flippy will be available at multiple Caliburger locations later this year.